What are we making today, Chef? We're making granola. We're making granola. Okay. Yeah. So what we have here are cashews, pecans, almonds, sunflower seeds. We have some dates. And we have some coconut flakes and we have some chia seeds. You don't have to stick with just any nut or seed. You can mix it up. We're using sunflower seeds today. You could use pumpkin or pepita seeds another day. We're using almonds. You could use macadamia nuts. We're using pecans. You could use walnuts. We have cashews. You could use Brazil nuts. You know, mix it up. For sweeteners, we're using maple syrup. And what are these called? Dates. That's right. And what do they have in them? Pits, which have to be pulled out. Will you take the pit out of that one, please? Now, for this recipe, I'm using about two cups of almonds, one cup of um, pecans, one cup of cashews. We're using about six dates. We're using two cups of coconut flakes, and we're using one cup of sunflower seeds. And we're using three tablespoons of chia seeds. Here's your wet towel. She requested a wet towel be on the set. That is one clean, organized chef. Thank you, chef. Okay, let's do this. So what we first have to do is we're gonna throw all of our things into the bowl, except for this, and that's it. Now, I also have two tablespoons of butter. You could use coconut oil, you can make this vegan, you don't have to use butter. I just like to add a little fat to it. Um, not that nuts aren't fat enough, but I just like a little bit of uh, extra fat. So we're gonna also add two tablespoons of butter. And then, oh, uh, okay, then let's add the dates, eight dates. And now we're gonna add our spices. We have cinnamon, we're gonna do one teaspoon. That's a rounded teaspoon. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're really going off of the flavors that you like. Now for the nutmeg, which we also have, we're going to use a half of a teaspoon. A little less, yep, perfect. So she leveled that off. That was very good, chef. And then we have some ground ginger. We're gonna do also a half a teaspoon of that. You want to do a teaspoon of ginger? We can do that because it's kind of nice to have that stronger ginger taste. I, I say let's go for it. Uh, well, we have so many nuts, so let's go a little bit bigger. So either choose this one or this one. It's pretty flexible. It's really, once again, we're just going off of what flavors do we want in our granola. And this is grainless granola. Why grainless? Because that makes it paleo, that makes it gluten free, and we really like it that way. Okay, now we have our bowl is filled with everything, except for the maple syrup, which we're gonna add after we mix it. Okay, so one thing that we need to add is some salt. You could have added it earlier, I'm just adding it now. And I'm adding uh, about a half a teaspoon. So see, we go ahead and mix that together. We added a uh, half a cup of maple syrup. And that just makes it a little wet. Mix that up. Yeah, let me get that. So when mixing it, you wanna kinda get it underneath it and fold it over. Uh, and it's okay if you have bits, because when there are bits like this kind of stuck together, that means you're going to get that nice clumpy granola, which I personally love. Me too! Okay, so is that, that's well mixed. We have the oven at 350. We're going to go ahead. How's it taste? Good. We're going to have to cook it. Actually, it tastes fine. 
has it? Oh. Well, we're gonna cook it just to kind of caramelize the maple syrup a little bit, make it a little crispy, because right now it's very, like, soft. And I like it soft. Do you? Oh, well, there you go. You wanna lick that, miss? So I'm gonna have to, during the baking time, I'm going to have to kind of turn it every now and then. And we really what we're doing is we're drying it out a little bit. Like I said, we're caramelizing the maple syrup that's in there. We're drying it out a little bit and making it crunchy. And this is going to be delicious. We don't want to flatten it out though, Chef. We want to keep it kind of bunched up like this so that the air can get inside it and dry it out. Glad she did that actually, it's an important note. You don't want to necessarily flatten it out. No, you could, and you could turn it into like granola bars or something like that. Yeah. Here they go, we're gonna put this in the oven. Granola's in the oven. And now it's just about waiting. Now we just gotta, you know, hang out. And just wait a little bit. And stop the show. So Sia, what do you like to put granola on? Do you like to eat it plain? Do you like to put it with anything? I like it plain. And when you do add it to something, what do you add it to? Oh, like a not sweet yogurt. Yeah, and I add it to not sweet things so it can taste good. Yeah, because it's already a little sweet, right? Yeah, so the, so the, the granola is sweet, but the yogurt's not. So we can just put it in there. I don't like sweet things like Yeah, it gets too much. Well, there you go, grainless granola. We'll be right back as soon as it's ready. Can you help me get this, put everything off? I thought you were eating this show. What happened? You haven't ate like this paper enough. Oh, jeez. Thank you. Your mom just that. What I have to work with? Yes, really? I go. <laughs> I've lost the chef. The assistant is left all alone. All right, Chef Sia, here we have our granola. You can see it's now kind of a golden brown. You do have to watch when you're baking it for the edges because nuts burn really easily. I probably turn this and and flipped it a little bit um, about four times during the 15 or 20 minutes that I baked it. Now, if we had pressed it down the way Sia was doing it, it would have made it more of like a block and then you could break it up. That's actually a really great way to get nice big chunks. This is not necessarily big chunks, but I kind of wanted it smaller because we're gonna use it for cereals and yogurts and whatnot like that. So Sia, why don't you give it a taste and tell us what you think? Clearly your sister likes it. Is that a thumbs up? We got a thumbs up from Chef Sia. Wow. What do you think? Is it good? Yeah. Yum? Yummy. <laughs> you heard it here. She said yummy. All right, should we get some yogurt? Oh, no, you just want to eat it plain? No, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>